In this video, we'll be talking about Gear 5 and why I think that it is the best power-up in all of anime. Not only is it the best and possibly the strongest, but it is by far the most creative power-up that has ever existed. Oda completely revolutionized anime transformation with this, opening a new pathway, one that has never been explored before, because your average shonen anime transformation do follow the same structure when it comes to their character getting a new form. The character experiences a loss, gets angry about it, loses their senses in their newfound rage, they are then in their new transformation, all serious and proceed to dominate the opponent in the fight. If you look across shonen anime, most of them follow this structure leading up to their transformation and never deviate from it. When it comes to One Piece, it's different. Oda found a way to give us something new, a transformation style that has never been done before. We already know Luffy to be a goofy character that jokes around, messes up sometimes and acts childish. So in Gear 5, Luffy is truly in his element. He's not just fighting, he's enjoying every moment, embodying the joy of battle and turning each confrontation into an expression of his free-spirited nature while still effortlessly overpowering his foes. This state not only enhances his physical capabilities but also aligns perfectly with his spirited playful nature allowing him to fully express his inherent joy and freedom. This transformation perfectly aligns with Luffy's character and what he represents, making it the most fitting and impactful transformation in anime history. It is so rare to see a transformation that resonates so profoundly and accurately with its character's core traits. And I believe this is the reason why Luffy uses Gear 5 so frequently, because it just feels right to him. Some people have complained and say that Luffy should only use Gear 5 against people that could withstand this form, but Luffy doesn't work like that. He loves using Gear 5 so he's going to use it every chance he gets. Luffy just loves being able to fight freely in battle. He doesn't tap into Gear 5 because he thinks the opponent is strong enough, he just does it to have a blast. And that's what I love about Luffy, he just wants to have fun even when he is fighting. But we now understand that Zone Devil Fruits possesses their own will, selecting the most suitable individual to consume them. This is how Luffy's fruit has been able to evade the world government for 800 years and has managed to make it all the way to Luffy. It chose him. It wasn't an accident that Luffy became friends with Shanks and mistakenly ate it, thinking it was dessert. All of this was fated because Luffy is the best representation of what this Devil Fruit symbolises. But the main reason why Oda chose this form for Luffy is because he doesn't want One Piece to be a serious manga. In an interview with Gosho Aoyama, the creator of Detective Conan, Oda stated this, also confirming that he did take inspiration from Tom and Jerry, saying that it's as if I suddenly drew Tom and Jerry. No one is drawing these types of drawings anymore. Shonen manga are definitely becoming more and more serious to adhere to what the fans want, but Oda wants to bring back old fashioned animation into modern day anime, despite it being not that popular with the younger generation. Ichiro Oda made it clear in the interview that he wants to keep the One Piece manga innovative and playful, rather than just gradually making it more and more serious as the end draws near. So we get a ridiculous transformation that makes us all smile, and I believe that the One Piece is going to be something equivalent to Gear 5, a ridiculous treasure that's going to make us all laugh and cry.